I'll agree with you. Okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. What do you mean? No, you're acting like you're going to get two people pissed off. You're just going to shit in my Cheerios All right. tonight. Now, wait a minute. There's going to be no shitting in Cheerios. Speak for yourself. Okay? I, I rate these albums, you know... I rate them fairly. Yes, very fairly. Very I, and I listen... You know, here's the thing. I listened to this album while I was putting together um, a crate for my one game. Mm -hmm. Right? So it was on as a nice background filler, and I listened to it through my stereo with the bass speakers to give it the proper oomph that it required. Okay? And we'll discuss that as we go along. You know? All right. So I have more. Do I have thoughts on this fucking album? But <laughs> the next album, the next album that we're going to talk about <sighs> is "Wasting Light" by the Foo Fighters. Mm -hmm. This is their seventh studio album. Yes. Uh, released April 12th of 2011. And I wrote it that way. <laughs> two boobs, two boobs, one one? Yes. Uh, <laughs> next, uh, the next, here, the, I, th I thought this was really interesting. This album was recorded completely in Dave Grohl's garage. Didn't sound like And it. then get to the kicker. All analog equipment. And Butch Vig thought he was Wait. fucking joking. Wait, hang on. We're, I didn't get the Butch Vig yet. <gasps> so, they started recording this record with, you know, like, in a, in a, in an actual studio. Correct. Uh, you know, state-of-the-art, Pro Tools-equipped digital studio with a different producer. Yes. Dave calls up Butch Vig, who is the guy who produced Nirvana's Nevermind album. Mm -hmm. And went on to become the drummer of Garbage. Yes. Um, hey, I'm making a record. I'm building the studio in my fucking garage. All analog, come produce this shit. Butch Vig thought he was kidding. Yeah, <laughs> he thought he was out of his fucking mind. Now, when they were in the studio, they, 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 they did record two songs in that studio that they put on the greatest hits. It was uh, Wheels and word for word, and then they left to take a break, and that's when Dave Grohl had this fucking we had the brain's crazy going. ass idea. But you gotta remember, the first Foo Fighters record was re Grohl recorded it in his garage by himself. By himself. You know, he, uh, he recorded the first Foo Fighters record in his garage by himself. Yep. Ah, uh, God, you gotta love him. Gotta love Dave Grohl. This album uh, received five Grammy nominations, and two wins. Yes. It won the best hard rock and metal performance for White Limo. Mm hmm. I see that look. Oh. And the, we'll get to that. And uh, the song Walk won the best rock performance. Jesus Christ. So now, this album was certified platinum, which means oh. it, it sales in excess. Of one million copies. Most of them probably to Jim Miller. Mothers. Fuck you. Now wait a minute. Now, now you said you weren't gonna be angry. This is also their first this is also their first debut, their first number one debut when it came out. You your fucking English is as bad as that method you tried to bomb the plane. Blah, 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 blah. It was their first album to debut at number one. Yes, that. I What's it? This number one debut. The first number one debut. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. out. No. First album. The out. words didn't come out the way I wanted be, them to. Be nice. No. You're going to put a they, quarter in the fucking swear jar. Fuck you, I am. <laughs> He's up to 100 bucks. <laughs> at least. I think we all are. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Keep an eye on the, on the yeah. band in my forehead. Again. That was the original name of the podcast. We were going to call it The Swear Jar. Yeah, and then Eric went on and said, we can't call it that, so we took it already. Yeah, <laughs> speaking <laughs> speak, uh, Seriously? There's, yeah, there's a podcast. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> when I, I thought, when you had posted about horrible band names, Yes. there's, there's a documentary <laughs> on Amazon called Back and Forth. It's a documentary on the Foo Fighters. Well, no, no, hang on. It's not on Amazon. It's on Quello. Well, yes. You, it's, it's, yes? Well... Did you just say yes? Yes, he did. <laughs> you stopped making fun of my... <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> but anyway, at the at the end of the credits, there's a cutscene, and Dave's going, if I'd have known this band was going to take off like this, 
I wouldn't have named it the fucking Foo Fighters. That's a fucking shitty name. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, that's it's. You're, you see, you're you're spreading semi-false information. It's on a paid add-on so, add-on to Prime. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. And, which I don't have, which is why I haven't watched the back and forth documentary. Ah. Uh. Or else I would have watched it. Um, let's move on. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. This peaked at number one on the <laughs> Billboard charts, and it is it was number thirty nine for the entire year. America, what were you thinking in twenty eleven? Again, not saying anything. <laughs> they were learning to walk again. <laughs> Look, Pantera told him to walk, okay? That was in the Dave Grohl didn't need to teach nobody. Well, they were burn they were busy bu bu busy bridge burning. <laughs> Which is the first song on the album. Yes. That's correct. That's a segue, kids. Uh, bridge burning. Uh what do you got? It was okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. And this is out of your See, you're not you're you're not a foo fan. I mean, you're not a. That's the name of them, the foo fans. No, I, okay, you're not a fan of the foo fighters. No, I, okay, no. What's the name of the fan club? I don't fucking know. Because you got the blue, I'm not a fucking the blue never. army. All right, you got you know you got the blue army from Aerosmith. You got know. the Kiss army. I don't know. You got the Motorhead bangers. I don't know. The foofs. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're the fighters. All right, no. This is my first. This is my first look. I have listened to the foo fighters. They're singles that they put out there mm -hmm. and this is no different it's just this it's, it's food fighters it's there i love the opening of this song okay that's, that guitar yeah it's on my look it's on this side of the paper so that's not a bad thing. that's not a bad thing it's a good thing hey right. doug how's it going oh doug, doug doug says what's up crackers crackers oh but where's the wine and cheese uh, upstairs there's the wine as the cheese. No. So you're the cracker. In this sandwich, yes. <laughs> I, I got the I got the Triscuits and the baby Swiss upstairs. Oh God. Anyway, uh, bridge burning. Uh, the, a song about being fed up with being manipulated. Yeah. You know, it's it. I I I really dug into the lyrics of this because. Uh, I, I, to me, this whole album sounds from a, not from a production standpoint, from a writing standpoint, this album sounds dated. It's arena rock for a modern era. You're. I have a different take on it, which I'll say after the last. You're track. not wrong, and and. You can really, it, it, it's its a gritty sounding album because of the analog and how everything was, where it was recorded. It's not a gritty sounding album. It, it, it's, it's, a, very it's, it's, it's very clean. It's very clean. It's very clean. Next it's, song is Rope. What do you got? Give and take. No. Yeah. One-sided relationship. No. Yeah, give me, give, give Again, me. just the... It's it's a good background song. It was the album wasn't completely awful. I mean, this, was, I had the album on, and it's not like I sat there and was like, "Oh, this is shit. This is awful." No, I was like, <laughs> "Okay, this is another song." This this is one of those songs. This is an album that reminds me of an '80s movie soundtrack. <laughs> Most of the, yeah, I can I can understand that. Just kind of there. Yeah, yeah, they all. It's that's yeah. I, I mean, you're not gonna like my final take on the record. I'll I know he's not right gonna now. like mine either, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be as positive as I can be. You don't gotta be positive. No, I. I want. I'm being honest though. That's oh, yeah. Next song, Dear Rosemary. Again, another good song. Another Foo Fighters song. If, if you, I think this album. But if you hand it, say, Hey, this is Foo Fighters. I'd be like, Okay, yeah, it is. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. And this had. Uh, Bob Mould from Husker Du do a vocals with Dave. Yeah. And also guitar. Yeah. Um, you know what this, what? I did a little research on this one. You know who Rosemary is? It's a baby. Now, is this <laughs> the one that you're going to talk about, the lady who said that Kurt Cobain was killed? 
not just the lady. Okay. That was that was Nirvana's fucking lawyer. Okay. Mm. All right, that's okay. that. that yeah, yeah. Rosemary Carroll. Yes. She was Nirvana's lawyer, and she was one of the first to allege that Kirk didn't write the suicide note. Mm. All right. And if you ever watch Soaked in Bleach, or if you do a little, even a little bit of fucking precursory digging. Into Kurt I Cobain's watched those death. two things that you told me to watch. They well, are mm, not. Eh. <laughs> There's no <laughs> eh about it. The fucking suicide note. There's two, uh, alleged suicide note. There's two entirely different sets of handwriting on that note. Hmm. But I guess. I guess girl don't like her that much. Just go the fuck away. Pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, if you like do a little bit more than a precursor, you know, I gotta look somewhere over there. I've got uh, a book of Kurt Cobain's diaries. Wow. That was given to me. Um, I'll, I'll have to find it for you. Um, but yeah, that's what. You know, that's one of the ones that I kind of dug a little bit deeper into to see, oh, wow, what the fuck is this one about? Yeah. And then I find, Rosemary. find this Rosemary <laughs> Carroll thing. And I'm like, oh, shit, I remember that name from the documentaries. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, allegedly that's what this song is about. Okay. You know, and uh, dear, basically, dear Rosemary, just go the fuck away. Yeah. Yep. Wait, live on. <laughs> Look, I, what I, in I, the cinnamon toast I, fuck was this? Look, I Jesus look, Christ! I can listen to this album a hundred times, and I still can't fucking understand most of the words except for oh, the limo. God, but fucking. the video was fucking awesome. No, no, the video is shit. Other than the fact that Lemmy's in. Lemmy's driving the limo. That's the only. You can't, you can't drop Lemmy in a video and call it good. You know, it's like it, it just. It doesn't work like that. It's like this song, and there was a, oh, this was nominated. Really? This shit? This one? That one? This shit? What the, what the fuck? 2011, it's like, I guess we're just, you know, I think maybe we won because it was different. They want to be different. That was the problem. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I was like, God, no. It, it, it's, it's, well, that was the first time you ever heard this song. Yes, and I had to stop. You know, gluing the model together because I was like, I was gonna fucking start breaking shit. <laughs> it, 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 it's just, now, now Lemmy has done some cool stuff with Dave Grohl in the past. Yeah. If you go to the Crowbot record, yes. There's a. It was a record that Grohl did where he put a band together and had a bunch of different singers in it, mm. and each song was written in that. Singer style, okay. like uh, King Diamond is on it, Lemmy is on it. It's really mm. fucking cool. I don't even think you can get that anymore. I remember I tried to find that. I'm sure it, like, it might be on uh, Spotify. I'll have to look. But it, I mean, just dropping Lemmy in a video doesn't. It, no, it, but that doesn't it'll get you. It'll get you a couple of cool points, but not enough to make this a good song. Like I said. It comes out of fucking nowhere. It does not fit anywhere in the goddamn record. No, it doesn't. It's just like, whoop. Um, the only the only blemish I have on the album. Uh, it's one of many. Well, I'm, I, glad, I'm glad we at least agree on that. So you can't say I'm shitting on it. Some you you shit on it too. Next it's song. Like a German porn. Fucking fuck. <laughs> so, Here we go again. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck. Next we have Arlandria. All right, this is back to back Gen to the basics. Generic Foo Fighters. Yeah. Yep. Singing about uh, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, yep. It's a Arlandria is uh, Alexandria. It, Ale and Arlington. Yes. There's a yeah. little border area between the two towns called that. In they Virginia. Call, yes. Yeah. Well, that's where he. Grew that's up. where Dave Grohl's from. Oh, a bunch of hillbillies. Yeah. Well, how do you think he almost became the drummer for fucking Guar? Well, I'm, uh, I'm not. Saying that Virginia's full of hillbillies, I'm saying that. Okay. I'm what saying are you are saying, that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alleged hillbillies. Oh. Uh, it's it's not a bad song. I mean, it, it, who names two towns and then is like that'd be like, where are you going? The Summerford. 
Lions Hill. Lions Hill. To Colford. I'm going down to Colford. Ne Nescaford. Did we pass seat yet? Yeah, you blink. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You blunk. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me I blunk. Oh. Fucking like a blumpkin. Nah. Uh, well, next we have these days, which is one of the big uh, yeah big this songs off. I, 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 it was funny as it started playing. I'm like, hey, this is familiar. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard this one before. <laughs> well, good. At least you heard one of them. Well, you can't. The top forty shit you can't get away yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's easy for you to say, your heart has never been broken. Yeah, that one I even, oh, oh God. Yeah, I... This I, is one of, this is, I was, and I was hoping, and I was crossing my fingers, and I was like, oh, God, please don't let, like, all that goofy Mentos fucking video shit and all the other goofy songs be on this album. If, if I just have to listen to this one, I'm fine. That's the first album. Nah, yeah, with the, uh, Big Me. Yes, Big Me. <laughs> uh, this... I don't understand why everybody went so gaga over this song. Yeah, it's just... It's there. Yeah, just like the rest of a lot of the albums. Yeah. This, is, this song is John Cusack standing out front of a window with a fucking boombox. Damn! Don't, don't no, you this within your eyes. Don't you dare. Don't you no, dare. In Your Eyes is a better song. Don't you dare put freaking Peter this Gabriel true. on that. In Your Eyes is a better song. Oh. oh okay, this is... Uh, this is, this is Jay and Silent Bob after they smoked a lot of weed outside the Quick Stop. There you go. Yeah, except except Jay, except Smith was smart enough to use fucking King Diamond for that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Next is Back and Forth. You guys are really going to hate my other albums. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't enjoy this one. I didn't say I didn't enjoy this. All on the no, good I, side. I understand. This is on the good side. I, it have, wasn't terrible. I'm gonna have to sit out of swing distance if we get one that. Mm. No. Oh, oh yeah. Two out of kicking distance. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Miller has <laughs> got to know oh. his limitations. Uh, back and forth. Yep. It's another. It's there. Okay. Yeah. I I, I I will say this. I listened to it all the way through in one shot. That's good. Yeah. Everything I listen. It's to. not. It's like, not Nickelback. I. I at. What's and like I said, when you say when you say seventh, you know, studio album, I, you got to understand. By this time, I'm, you know, I had every. You're single. swinging from Dave Grohl's nuts like it's fucking no tomorrow. There you go. Yeah, but it was also late into the two thousands. Yeah. Right, but I've been listening to them since ninety five. That's when their first album came out. I got their first album as a twenty first birthday present, and I was I bought every one ever since. It. it mm. You know, I think okay. I own one Foo Fighters record. I right. think I own the color, color and the shape. shape. Yes. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, that's a good one. Next is a matter of time. Okay. Another right along the lines, just trucking along. Mm -hmm. He's staying on the tracks. Yes. Not deviating. This is. I, I, I took this one to be as someone. You know, someone just won't fucking learn from their mistakes. <laughs> I would. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's kind of where I took where, where I took the lyrics of this one. All right. Um, it's not a bad song. Yeah, it's not a great song. Yeah, it's a song. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, this is a s song that the next one is one I feel I miss the misery. <laughs> that that was what I wrote. Shit, I was like, is that does that miss the missy? No, miss the not misery. Miss the misery. And it's yeah. go ahead. Well, I mean, of course we all know that title from Hailstorm. You know. But, uh, no, we don't all know this title from Hailstorm. Yeah, Hailstorm did no a different version of it. I don't know it. What do you, mean, you don't know Hailstorms? I know who, I know Hailstorm, but Mr. Misery. Nah, you don't like it. Never heard it. What do you mean? I, I don't actively seek out Hailstorm. Okay, that's going in a bucket now. Yeah, it's again. <laughs> yeah, it's again. It's on. No, now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know. Lizzie Hale, you know, she makes me feel funny. Yeah, and she's got a great, great voice. What was that music? one of the first singles that kid that dropped with them? I get, I get off. off. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I get off on you getting off on, on me. me. Yes. Yeah, and and everything she's done up to that. I mean, everything is just wonderful. She's. I mean, she's a great singer. Yes, she is. I I I, yes. I, I do dig her voice, and I don't. I don't actively seek out Hailstorm, but I don't turn it off. Right. 
you know. It's but back, back to this, it's it's Dave Grohl. Okay, it works. Yeah, uh, it's you know missing a bad relationship. Yeah, it's fucking it, it's fucking Munchausen syndrome or not Munchausen Stockholm syndrome. And this is also where the title of the album comes from, "Wasting Light." You know, like uh, like in, 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 the, in the lyric, you know. You're wasting light, you know, get in the fucking car and let's go. You You're know. wasting oxygen. Damn it! Come on. Be nice. No! Be nice! He can't be nice. It was easy. It was there. He's lobbing fucking <laughs> softballs. <laughs> that, was a, right. that was a layup. All right. It, no! This is the fucking motto of the podcast. <sighs> uh, I should have known. I like this song a lot. This... Uh, this one I kind of dug to. And this is uh, like I I did a little bit of a little bit of looking into what people thought mm -hmm. this was about, mm -hmm. and like a lot of stuff that Dave Grohl has written since Cobain died, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it's his tribute to Kurt." It's I I think this is about survivors' regret. Mm -hmm. And do you know who he invited to play bass and accordion on this song? Chris Nova Salad. Yes. Yeah. All right. It was. I didn't put this on the guy. I think this was the the ballad that didn't need to be there. Yeah. I'm right. It just. And again, it just. It, it was their take on a ballad. I don't think they do them right. Yeah. Well, you can say ballad. And there's one more song in this one. It's another one that was mm -hmm. a uh, that everybody knew because this was released. It was a big single. It was pushed down everybody's throats. Walk. Yes. That's Pantera right. did it better. I didn't, I didn't uh, this, even know this song beforehand. And I didn't, I didn't this, care for it. This, this was, came out when I was in a bad time in my life. I had just gone through the divorce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these lyrics kind of... I got you. Yeah. And well, that's, that's what the song is about. Getting it's back about, up on your feet. After a bad relationship. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's not a bad song. It's, it's, and really, it's not a bad album. But it's just... Fucking there. I know, and, yeah. and like I said, I because of what I listen to and what you guys listen to. I, I know, but and my my whole take on it was, if beige had a soundtrack. Yeah, you know, I mean, it and, and also there wasn't. All the songs were very safe. You know, the all Foo Fighters. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like it's, it's it's something that moms can listen to. While they're driving their minivans to the soccer practice, <laughs> oh, right away, soccer mom. Yeah, oh. exactly. It's like mom rock. But it's like they're not. You're not going to be hearing about a lot of sex. You're not going to be hearing about a lot of drugs. Nobody poking a finger in the ass. It's just very safe music. I forgot you what know? the fuck I was going to say. And no, and nobody is like going to. I mean, if she shows up to practice with like something in your mouth, I mean, people are going to look. There you go with the moth. Yeah, people are going to look. And are sideways, but you come up there on oh, one of these days. Oh, thank you, Doug. Thank you for saying that. Doug said someone that won't learn from their mistakes, like Jim owning all of the Foo Fighters albums. <laughs> Suck you, Doug. Hey, 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 he's a viewer. He's a viewer. You respect that. That's right. You respect our fans. I do have every single one. <laughs> I know you do. And and truth be told, when I when I moved into my house and I got my when I got my first record player, I bought three albums. I got Physical Graffiti, and Justice for All, and this. These are my first. I'll tell you what, at the next my first three vinyl. Yeah. At the next Something Found show, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Suddenly Found. Suddenly Found. Okay, something like that. But <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give Doug one of my old guitars, and he can help bomb you. <laughs> All right. Make sure it's hollowed out. Make, like, make, make sure you give it. Okay? Make sure you give it. Okay? We don't want to hurt Miller. What? We no, don't want to hurt him. Give him the guitar like Jimmy Hart. You gotta give it. Get, you gotta give it the guitar. They learned that the hard way. Honky Tonk Man, fucking El Cabong, Jake Roberts. That's who it was. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't take the bracing out of the fucking guitar. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, they it learned. Didn't fucking break. No, and and Jake, you know, suffered spinal compression because of it. But yeah, they learned it quickly to give it to the guitars. Speaking of shit that's not gimmicked in wrestling, last night I watched AEW Rampage, or Dynamite, or whatever the fuck show it is. Yeah. I watched the AEW show. And 
there's a pay-per-view on Sunday. And one of the matches is going to be um, for the like their version of the television title, the, T, the TNT title. Okay. Okay. And it's going to be Wardlow against Samoa Joe. And the winner of that goes on to defend the TNT title against the winner of a match that they had last night. The, they called it the uh, Face of the Revolution ladder match. It's a fucking ladder. Mm -hmm. Okay? Facing the Revolution. Face of the Revolution. Face of the Revolution. Ladder. It's a fucking ladder match. You don't need to give it stupid names. <laughs> right? Stop. Tony, fucking stop, okay? <laughs> now, we're sitting there watching this last night, and, you know, there's 87 ladder spots. You know, guy taking a fucking yeah. bump into the ladders on a throwaway, essentially a throwaway TV match. It's not on a pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. It's it's a fucking TV match. 87 bumps. Well, it, it, it's hyperbole. Right. right. I got you. A lot. Uh, I, right. When WWE does a ladder match, it means something. It's money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Or a, something, you know, significant. Yes. And more importantly, when WWE does a ladder match, they gimmick the ladders that anybody's going to take a bump on. That way the ladder goes quick and breaks, mm -hmm. right? Because that will absorb some of the, the force. Yes. None of the fucking ladders last night were gimmicked. And guys were taking sentons on these ladders oh. and suplexes into the ladders. Oh my I'm sitting god. There, I looked at Jesse and Missy, I said, what in the fuck are they doing? They're gonna fucking hurt somebody. Badly. Tony. Wow. Yeah. Tony, you're a big enough fucking mark. You should know to gimmick the shit. You know, and I'm telling you, I see that at some of these like small time indie indie promotions as well. Yes. Now, they're all supposedly wrestling fans, but never look into the business, I swear. So they're going to a table spot, so they grab you one of those dick. What do you do? He said, Doug said it was probably a Hello Kitty record player, by it the way. It was not. It's a very good one. So, I mean, they I do, they do a table spot, and they grab one of those white, thick plastic tables. Yeah, that's and, never going to break. And then, and then they slam it down. It's like, Jesus Christ. It's like, no. It's like, but this was what we had laying up. No, then don't do it. No, no, they, exactly. It, there's a reason if you look at a fucking table spot, in WWE, mm -hmm. the table always breaks clean. Mm -hmm. You know why? They give it the fucking table. They take the steel out of it, and they, they take the, the banding yeah. out. The it, they make it as safe as they can. And, and of course, it also leads to some of the funny stuff. Is like they'll just set up the table, and someone <laughs> leans on it and it breaks. Yeah, <laughs> that happened. But I would rather have that yeah. than a guy get hurt, than one oh, guy exactly, get hurt. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, but. That being said, um, I won't be buying the AEW show mm. on, on Sunday. I, I I can't. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just spoiled because W. I don't pay for WWE pay per views because I have Peacock. Peacock. Wait, we gotta rate the Foo Fighters. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I'll, you go first. I thought it was one of their best albums. I'm gonna go nine. Okay, Jim. Uh, that is Bill. 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 Uh, Bill. We're looking at you. Oh man. You're, you're not gonna hurt my feelings because you don't. I don't know. Listen to him. I, I, I don't care about hurting your feelings. I'm just trying to. I mean, I my my mind wants to say five, but that seems harsh, because it was neither really good nor really bad. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a very sizable seven. I'm gonna give it a five. You know? For the simple fact that it wasn't very good and it wasn't I very said, bad. It, was, it was safe. I mean, it could be background. It could be background music at a kid's party, and no one's gonna come. No one's gonna come home from that party and be sitting in there in the you know, and tell their father, "What did we learn today?" Yeah, I learned what a butt plug was. What? <laughs> what the hell? It's like no. You listen to Foo Fighters. Oh, okay, that was safe. Right. It's it's it, it's like I said. It's a very safe record. It's not. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's nothing earth shaking. Yeah. It's nothing. You know. It, 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 they're not reinventing the wheel. Yeah. It's very safe. It's a standard Foo Fighters record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, you know. You, you when your daughter goes to prom, 
to give her that CD to put in, and I guarantee nothing's gonna happen that night. Yeah. <sighs> Whereas, whereas you, you give her a cop, you give her a copy of 1916. Oh yeah, and you know, you know, bad, th bad shit's gonna happen. I, Lemmy's a panty dropper. I, I gotta tell you what I.